I believe that all organizations that do business in the community have a moral and ethical responsibility to contribute to the communities they serve. As president and CEO of MSU Federal Credit Union since 2000, he's seen its assets grow from around $500 million to over $2.5 billion, and membership grow from 97,000 to over 180,000. And for Patrick McFarlane, leadership doesn't end at work. His record of community service speaks for itself. I have been employed at the credit union a little over 41 years. I've been the president for coming close to 15 years. In the community, the credit union has been active in many, many uh, community events and boards and investing in students in the community and uh, made donations to 485 organizations or departments uh, in 2014. Under his leadership, the credit union launched the MSU FCU Internship Opportunity Award to support MSU students taking part in unpaid internships. The credit union does donations for many um, events and programs. And one is an internship uh, program at MSU where the students uh, go into the Lansing School District and they volunteer to be tutors and mentors. In January 2015, the Lansing Saves program created children's savings accounts for over 350 students at Lansing Elementary Schools and started them off with $5 each. And the whole idea is to start with kindergarten students and get them excited about education and put some financial and trinkets, awards together to encourage them to do good in school, to provide financial education to them and then also to their parents and to help them get the idea again that they could graduate from high school and go to college. Patrick announced his plans to retire from the credit union in March 2015 after 41 years of service and leadership. Definitely would like to thank the members of the credit union because we don't make these investments in the community without their support. Investing in the community pays off for the community and I believe it pays off for the people who donate and invest their own personal time and then it benefits the members themselves because if we live in a community that has more arts, as you know we do many things in the culture area, or better schools or better education, I think it's a win for all of us.